Cataract surgery, it's actually the most performed procedure in the United States. Did you know that? About one half of all Americans will develop cataracts by age 75. And this morning we have an ophthalmologist, John Whitehead, here to discuss some recent advances that can improve vision following cataract surgery. Welcome to New Day. Well, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. I'm really excited to talk about this because some of the things you've been sharing with me off camera are so fascinating. But first, let's talk about what is a cataract and how do you know you have one? So, cataracts are exceedingly common. Your eye is a camera. Okay. All cameras in the inside have a lens. All right. And they have film, okay. the retina. Everyone who lives past the age of 40 that normally clear lens starts to get dirty. Okay. That's the reason why everyone needs reading glasses or bifocals, it's actually the first sign of a cataract. Oh. The older we get, the more dirty and more cloudy that lens gets. That's the reason why there's the old tale that your vision gets worse as you get older. It's not because you're getting older, it's because the cataract is getting worse. That's fascinating. And it becomes progressively harder to see. Harder to see at night, mm. harder to see in the rain, yep. harder to see with bright lights at night. That makes sense. That cataract's the reason why you'll be at home, you'll be in the garage or the closet, and there'll be one 40-watt light bulb in there, and you'll say, there's something wrong with that light bulb. It's not bright enough. I need a better light bulb. Uh. That's why people go to the hardware store and they get 100-watt bulbs, 200-watt uh. bulbs, 300-watt bulbs. Whoops. Because you're trying to force more and more light through that dirty lens. Interesting. Yeah. That is, I, I think a lot of us know our vision. I just got glasses, for example, mm -hmm. and I just, you know, you just don't know why, but now we do. That's fascinating. That's correct. So how do you typically treat cataracts? So there's only one way to effectively treat cataracts, and that's with cataract surgery. Okay. And as you had mentioned before, cataract surgery is the most commonly performed operation in the United States, and this is the most successful operation in the history of the world. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So you at Evergreen, Evergreen Eye Center, you're using a new type of technology that is really seeing some incredible results. It's actually it's so fascinating to me, the procedure. It's a light adjustable lens, or LAL for short. How is that different than other ocular lenses? So when you do cataract surgery, what we do is we take out the dirty lens mm -hmm. and we place a new clean plastic lens in the eye. Okay. That new clean plastic lens, the intraocular lens, like a permanent contact lens in your eye. Mm -hmm. And there are different options for lenses that you can have. The new lens that we're discussing here is the light adjustable lens. Mm -hmm. And this lens represents a paradigm shift in ophthalmology. This to me is so fascinating. So let's talk about this light adjustable lens. Mm -hmm. Just the name of it suggests that it adjusts to light, but actually it's adjusted by light, right? That's correct. So when we put a lens in the eye, we utilize different equations in order to guess the lens power that goes inside of your eye. Okay. Unfortunately, not all human beings fit the math equations that we use. That's right. why sometimes even after cataract surgery, some people still need glasses after surgery. The light adjustable lens allows us to actually adjust that glasses prescription after surgery. That is what I think is so cool. So you use, is this the machine you use to, to, to basically mold the lens? That's correct. So a month after your cataract surgery, your vision's better, but it's still a little fuzzy. And then you're gonna come back and you're gonna come see us in the office. And then we're gonna measure you just like you do with glasses, uh -huh. which is better, one, two, three, four. Yeah. We then take that prescription that you still have, we take you back in the clinic and we change the shape of the lens while it's sitting inside of your eye with ultraviolet light, thus customizing the lens to you. This is so cool. I mean, really fascinating yeah. stuff. So who would make a good candidate for this? I, I just told you, I just got glasses for the right. first time. Well, anyone who has a visually significant cataract can have cataract surgery uh, with this type of lens in which insurance then also pays for the cataract surgery. Okay. Now for people who don't qualify for cataract surgery based upon insurance criteria, that's where refractive lens exchange or RLE, a lot okay. of people may have heard about that in the community. Yeah. But all eye surgeons perform both cataract surgery and refractive lens exchanges. So we would encourage anybody to talk to their ophthalmologist or their community ophthalmologist about their options. You mentioned that um, some folks who have cataract surgery have to wear glasses afterwards, which seems like a real bummer. You did mention though with the LAL procedure that they have to wear protective glasses for a little bit, right? Correct. So the the lens is made out of an ultraviolet sensitive polymer. So as so the wonderful thing about this technology is we utilize ultraviolet light to change its shape. The problem is, is if you get exposure to ultraviolet light in the environment that could accidentally change the shape. 
So for the, about a month and a half to two months after your surgery, while you're doing the adjustments and everything, you have to protect your eyes with UV sensitive or UV preventing glasses to prevent that lens from inadvertently changing. This is really interesting. Thank you so much for, for coming in and sharing this you're welcome. very fascinating procedure. You have five locations around Puget Sound, right? Uh, Evergreen Eye does, yes we do. Okay. We are located in Seattle, Burien, Federal Way, Auburn, and Tacoma. And which ones offer LAL? Uh, we all offer them at all locations. All of them. That's okay, correct. great. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking Thank time you. to talk with us today. And of course, if you're interested in learning more about light adjustable lenses, visit the website you see right there on your screen.